ready to go? Yep. Okay. Welcome everybody. Um, my name's Amanda. I'm going to be um, teaching you today um, on building and maintaining networks. Um, this course is part of the Cert for in Leadership and Management. Uh, so um, it's going to help you develop those skills needed to um, to develop a network of people within your industry, so relating to because I know each of you have come from different industries. Um, we've got graphic design, hospitality, um, yeah. warehousing, <laughs> and training. So it's got, it will relate to all your industries, um, but all from a different angle. Um, so we're going to so having a network of people and support people um, will help to enhance um, your personal knowledge of the marketplace in your industry. Um, we're going to find out how networking opportunities um, are relevant to your industry and how to effectively utilise these contacts. So, does anyone not understand what I mean by networking? Is everyone okay with networking, getting out there and meeting new people, etc.? Yes, perfect, yep, absolutely. Okay, um, we're going to go for about 30 minutes, um, so we won't have time for a toilet or a blue break or a meal break. Um, continue to eat as we go. Um, feel free. We're going to keep it quite casual and um, interactive. So if anyone's got any questions, feel free to ask as we go. Um, and yeah, we will, there will be time for questions as we go along. So we'll get right into it. So I'm going to give you an explanation. We're going to have some question and answers. We'll do some brainstorming. We're going to do some internet research. And make sure you've all got it all hooked up to internet through our um, site here, which you've all got the passwords for. We'll have a bit of a discussion and a review. Um, and just um, quickly, we've got two emergency exits, one to the right and one to the back. If we um, do happen to evacuate, we're going to meet over at the village and have a few wines. Don't forget to grab these ones on your way out. Uh, bathroom is right around to the right, and first aid team, often etc., is in the kitchen. Um, we won't need to move around very much, so we don't have to worry too much about trip hazards at this stage. Okay, to breathe. <laughs> Let's get stuck into it. Now, what I wanted to have a quick discussion with you firstly, one little thing in a workplace, um, you know, we've all got lots of different um, tasks and responsibilities in things. So, um, time management and planning. So, with networking, you do need to plan some time and schedule that into your work day. Um, so, what do we want to achieve? So, we want to set ourselves a goal. So, what do we want to achieve? We want to achieve some new business contacts. We want to um, find out a bit about, um, you know, what Joe Boy down the road does in their industry. Um, we might need to find out what, um, you know, what that restaurant's doing or... Giving an eye on competitors. True, absolutely, that's one way. And also you might need some information, work together with these, with these teams, you know. Um, you know, some of us might do a bit of um, catering, for example. You know, you might need to get out and out and learn, you know, find out who does catering. You might not know anyone if you're new to town or, um, you know, so you need to find out all these different things. You might be putting on an event. You might be very, very corporate but need an event put on. So you need a caterer. Um, you need a restaurant. You might need to do a training system, so, so you might need a trainer. So if you've got a, you know, a black little black book, I guess you could call it, of contacts like that, it can really enhance your business. But you need to set some time aside to do this. Um, so set yourself some goals. You know, we've all heard of SMART goals. Um, you know, measure, um, specific. specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-framed. Yep, absolutely. So set aside some time within your workday to um, look for some, look for the contacts, find out and um, research, which is what we're going to have to do a little bit of today. Um, and then, you know, a lot of um, things do happen outside the workplace as well. So schedule time for that as well. You know, so you don't have to, you don't want to be spending all your time out in the work, you know, outside work time. You know, try and um, allocate some within. Um, what else do we need to do? Um, so yeah, I was only just going to touch a little bit on, um, on, you know, setting aside a little bit of time. A bit of planning and preparation there for, um, Get scheduling time for your effort to build your networks and get the research done, etc., and getting out and networking. Now, um, there's lots of different ways that you can network. I just realised I've printed two of the same page. <laughs> I have 
going to lower my laptop for two seconds. Sorry, Doctor. Yep. Just going to put it over here. Sorry. Yeah, if you could glitch again, I've. Um, I've printed two on exactly the same page. At least um, you're able to get the information at your fingertips. Yes, it's true. Not something you just <laughs> left at home that you wanted to show everyone. No, that's true. Let's just quickly jump on here and I can go straight from here. And I think. I'm looking like her. Yep. The good old Google to the rescue. Google is our friend. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so there's different ways we can network. Has anyone got any ideas on ways that we can network? What are some of the things? I know some of you do that already. Going to breakfast, business breakfast. Business breakfast, yeah. Industry seminars. Mm -hmm. Conferences, I was going to say, yeah. LinkedIn. Hang on, I'm slowly, I'm writing these as today, as you can see. We can actually read what it says. Bear with me. Um, industry seminars. seminars, yeah. Seminars. What was the other one? LinkedIn, which is a Oh, yes, one. Link. Not that I use it. Link. I think that's how it's. Yep. Yeah. No, we use it or something yeah. like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, so that's uh, social media. Yeah. What's some other ways we can network? Facebook. Facebook, yes. <laughs> social networking. Facebook. Um, what about uh, volunteering? Yeah, another way to you know meet new people around you. Yeah. Volunteering and yep. So volunteering and I'll just put community groups there, yep. So what's another way you can meet? Setting up meetings with them. Okay, so that yeah, that's setting up meetings with the people you meet you mean. Yeah, bridging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's sort of um speed <laughs> Tinder. Tinder, oh, yeah. Grinder. Grinder. Who? <laughs> Do I want to know what that one is? Grinder is the homosexual version of Tinder. Oh, okay. okay. We're talking we're well, about just put, um, what's the, what was that? We're talking work related on the Well, yeah, yeah, generally we are. So what that work level. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we're going to have to talk about that one later. Yeah. meeting new people, that's perfectly understandable as well. Um, but I know everyone here today is very sociable and engaging and very, very friendly. So I'm sure you guys won't have any problem going out and building your own networks within your industry. Um, so um, one thing about networking is that it's a two-way street, okay? So it, there's no point just going out and networking and I guess gathering business cards. I mean, that's something the business breakfasts are good at doing. You sort of tend to go along, and people like to hand out their business cards. And you know, you could be a collector of business cards. And what do you do with them once you've got them all? What's the point of having all these cards? You know, when you ring them up. That too. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so we can make it fun. Um, we can make it professional, or we can make it into a fun, um, yeah, social event as well. Um, but to be effective at network, uh, network marketing, networking, <laughs> different how industry altogether, um, there's a few different things you can do. So, as I said, it's a two-way street. You need to talk to those person that, so you know, say, "Hi, Matt. How are you going? Lovely to meet you." Because we've all got name badges on, right? And what is it that you do, Matt? I'm oh, a Fantastic, fantastic. And do you just work in this local area or? Yes, we are, we go a wide area, a bit of five kilometer radius. Five kilometer, yeah. oh fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And um, how long have you been doing this for? Oh, like 20 years. 20 years? Oh, you must be so good at it if you're still going up so, all this yeah. time. What do you do? What do I do? Oh, I'm actually a, um, I work in a bank actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you have some money in your pocket? In my pocket, not so much in my pocket. It's all electronic these days. So you can see. <laughs> how that two, you know, that two-way conversation goes. You want to make sure it's not all one-sided. Um, and the ultimate goal at these events and you know things that you do meeting people is to get their contact details. So how can you do that? I sort of mentioned it a little bit earlier. Cards, business cards. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
Now, where are we? Anyway. I want to say there's a little bit of a, an art to it as well. For instance, you give your business card with your right hand and take with the left. Ah, there you go. That's a new one. There we go. So that you like, if you've got your business cards in your pocket, yeah. Always put them in your right hand pocket so that you can give them out, and then you take, take the it with the left, left or put them in the left left pocket. Well, you don't have to be giving out anyone else's business card. You've got to reach into the wrong pocket. Don't switch up the little tip. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a good little tip, absolutely. Mine just goes out. Yeah, never ever comes Oh dear, yes, yes. Um, so, so, yeah, that's some, um, I said, two way street you need to know. And another thing with you know, that two way street, you want to know what you're looking for. You know, you might, um, you know, you might be looking to do an event, take your thing, and okay, so you've got your caterer, you've got your um, graphic designer who's going to advertise it for you and promote it. Um, However, we don't need someone who's training anything, like we don't need training. So, you know, as lovely as Vanessa is, we don't need the contacts at that time. So, sometimes you need to go out and network with purpose. So that you get your get the correct contacts. Um, it's always good to go with a plan. With a plan, absolutely, and that's what that um, you know planning your time and setting that goal up for is for to set that plan. Going with a goal. With a goal, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you don't want to go in um, to a networking event either, wanting to, as I said, just collect everyone's card and you know, throw them in your pocket and never use them again. If you've got that specific goal of like say, oh look, I need to get three contacts tonight. Um, go and get your three. You might want four, you know, get a couple of extras, but don't go and get 10, 20, 30. Don't go and get one from every single person. Um, it's not going to be effective because you're not giving them the time and they're not giving you the time that you need and getting those correct answers. Does that make sense that you're looking for? You might not be getting relevant. Relevant, yeah. That's it, exactly, exactly. So go in with a purpose. Um, in, in, in getting getting the correct contacts that you require. Um, also have your own little spiel as well when you go networking. Um, oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> what was I? Um, have you ever heard of spiel? Yes, thank you. That was a 30 second commercial. Has anyone ever heard of a 30 second commercial? Yeah. Um, so what you do, your own business. So a real quick version of what you what you do. Um, you know, I work for a community-based bank located in a local area. Um, I look after all the community groups in the region um, and assist them with fundraising. That's probably ten seconds, even better. But it still was to the point. I told everyone, told you what I do, um, and then you can finish it off with a question. You know, you know, do you know any community groups that might be interested? In, um, in our services. Um, so yeah, everyone should have like a 30 second commercial you know, when you're going out to these events so that you can just say what you need to say. You know, sometimes you might get a bit nervous when you're out talking to people um, and you just blow out anything or it's just not relevant. So if you've got that in your head, practice it and um, you'll get it to the point and they'll know what you're on about. And, what you what you are and what you stand for. I think it would need to be a little bit self-promoting as opposed yes. to a sales pitch. Yeah. Because if you promote a sales pitch and people just, you know, that's, you know, that's right. Well, maybe yeah. self-promoting and interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, make it personal. Make it personal. Um, yeah, just going back to, well, I'll use my industry because I know, you know, I use it all the time. Um, with the banking, um, you know, I do look after community groups. I love my job and it's just so good to be able to help those groups achieve their fundraising goals, and it's a good fun job too because I get to go out and meet new people. And you know, so make it, yeah, make it personal, make it fun. Don't make it all that business pitch because it gets boring and people will go, I don't know that person, so they'll walk away. Um, so, yeah, in my purpose. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, meet and mingle, that's another way which we've sort of discussed. Um, you know, at, at um, yeah, can you that one? Always get a second date. I like this one. <laughs> Always get a second date. You've met the person, um, 
um, you know, Matt, oh, look, I'd love to hear more about your business. Um, can I give you a call tomorrow? Um, you know, Sam, oh, look, I'd love to use your services. Can I give you a call tomorrow? That's the second date. It's not a date, but that's when you contact them to meet up for coffee or go and check out their um, menu or whatever it may be, their services that they've got. Um, and sometimes at that first introduction, it might, you know, it's difficult to gauge whether that is what you're looking for. You know, you might just really love the person, you might you're such a great person, but they don't offer what you want to offer. So that second meeting, whether it's for coffee or whatever it might be, <laughs> um, yeah, you just get, get a feel for them, what, what they're actually offering. And then if it all fails and you still like that person, you can meet socially as friends. You um, skip the Tinder bit and there you go. <laughs> um, now, do, 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 do. so yeah, as I said, well, yeah, we mentioned getting their contact details. If they haven't got a business card, you know, everyone's got phones these days. Just, you know, punch your phone number in your, you know, what's your number, I'll just pop it in your phone, or can I contact you by Facebook, or, you know, there's that many ways to communicate these days that it's um, quite easy to get people's contact details. Okay, so, I'm going to whiz through this one. Am I reading? Okay. Oh, I always spent time networking. Yes, very good. Um, Is jump online, and what I want you to do is research. You might already know some of this, and I want you to research some local um, places, groups, um, industries where you could go along and do you know do some networking. So have a think about what um, what can. Oh, you got your phone, right? Um, have a think about what um, with your industry. How what can what can help you enhance your business? Um, you know, for example, my, you know, to enhance my business and sales, it will be looking for community groups. So where am I going to find those community groups? Um, as a trainer, um, it might be, okay, who, who are the people that would be looking for training? Um, maybe I should go and meet some schools, go and meet the school teachers or something like that. Um, warehousing, um, you know, we need new clients. Who are my clients and what, how can I expand my client base? Who can I meet with? You know, maybe the chamber, business chamber might have some ideas or <laughs> etc. cetera. Um, Matt, there's lots of opportunities out there for catering. Um, yeah, he's busy thinking and busy. So I'll give you five, five, ten minutes just to have a bit of a research. Um, so what I want you to do as well, yeah, research um, local networks. How to join? Some of them might have training costs. Uh, for example, the business chamber, you know, you've got to become a member of many business chambers. Um, business breakfast, you know, there's a lot of women in business networkers, well, business networking events out there that um, do require costs, whether it's a membership cost or a um, membership cost or a, um, an on, a little bit. Or an event cost, perhaps. You know, each time you go to an event, it might be a cost. Um, research, you know, where it is, how often it is. Like, is it monthly? Is it weekly? Is it annually? Um, things like that. And the benefits to you. So, I want you to write down what benefits that would have to your business or industry um, by, you know, going to that um, particular networking event or um, etc. Minutes to do that, and um, we'll come together and discuss what we found. Pause that for a few minutes. Pardon? Pause that while we're waiting. Yeah. Or... <laughs> okay. How's everyone going there? We've got a few contacts. Sorry, I've got a few. So what I want you to do, um, is, just choose one of those contacts, actually no, let's have a listen to who, what sort of um, different 
places that you've come up with. Um, Hey, what have you come up with? Well, I've got Facebook groups, both public and private groups. Oh yeah. You know, to yeah. talk to people to talk about your services that you provide and things like that. Okay. 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 And you've got private groups, especially they can be, you know, people looking for different things. Okay. Okay. Um. So how with. Okay, so you've gotten in touch with someone through Facebook. Yep. How would you build that relationship to further your business? Rather than just do, to, rather just do it as to get a sale as such, yep. how would you develop it, that relationship online? Online? To, to, yeah. Maybe asking and talking to them about their business and what they're wanting to, like their goals and yeah. things like that. Um, so you get in a conversation with them, yep. like an actual conversation to and fro. So yep. would that sort of, you know, you might, you've got your messages on Facebook, mm -hmm. okay. Um, yep. Would you take that to say Messenger where it's private, more private, and you can do that better, going, you know, a bit more um, to and froing as yep. opposed to just the messages. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's sort of so through Messenger to develop. Um, to develop, develop the relationship. Okay. Okay. So, um, what sort of people would you be targeting through that? Like, have you everyone. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you have got a specific market, target market that you're looking for, like yeah. a target that could, you know, somebody, is it someone, what I'm trying to say is would it be someone in business, someone that just is looking for your services, would it be someone um, that likes drawing or colouring in or, sorry, I don't want to. <laughs> usually, yeah, usually it would be somebody looking for the design services or if, say, it's a community community group, you can look yeah. into talking to them about offering services yeah. um, okay. to then help them promote their services as well as Julie giving them like promoting your services and getting your 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 net your service your brand or out there out well. there which then helps further build yeah. networks. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So it's just not it's not just about you yeah. know chit chatting with them. It's about, you know, we're doing it with a purpose. We want to develop our own business, our own circle of um, circle of knowledge, I guess you could say. So one yeah. of the ones I had was like a governing body. Yeah. So that's one of my networks. Okay, yeah. And so, how do you get in touch with them? So they usually have websites or representatives. Okay. That you can um, access. Right. And um, how do you, what do you do then? Do you just send a message through the website or do you ring the reps and yeah, talk to them? Yeah, ring the reps. Yeah. And um, what would normally happen in that aspect is the information you're gathering from them yep. might be about trends or funding agreements, updates or legislative changes. Okay. So they would then come out and sort of touch base with you. Yep, so they're the ones with all the knowledge that you need yeah. to develop. So you've yeah. got them in your little black book to contact through the phone. Yep. Awesome. Well done. Cool. Grant, what did you I have? have? I've, well, I went both. Like, I, went, I went into the building thing. Business oh, yeah. Business seminars, you know, supply chain academy. Um, but also, I also went customer industry. What, sorry? So the industry of the customer. Okay, and yeah, the yeah. the industry of the supplier. Customer, in, okay, so you've actually, you've industry seminars, but you've also got your customer industry. Oh. You know, my writing's a bit better tonight. Can we read that? <laughs> customer industry and, and supplier, supplier industry. industry. Because there could be things going on with suppliers that are giving us um, okay. materials or information or um, you know services that yeah. we can tap can into utilize. to help to help build the relationship. Maybe you know we can help their business by integrating some of our business with them. Yep. Um, for example, if you know the, with a supplier who we organise and, and order stuff through yep. Yep. from, you know, quite often we can. We could maybe integrate our computer system so that there's yep. an automated computer system. Make it um, run or, or automated ordering or you know, okay. there's other, other ways to take it. Make it easier for them but also make it easier for us as well. So there's yes. beneficial on both, both sides. Both sides, yeah. Um, so how would you get in touch with them? 
Well, that'd be just, you know, we'd be in touch with them anyway. Like through so your history, through, through contacting your work, yeah, through, so, work, yeah, through so it's work just, it's just work expanding. Contact. It's just expanding the, uh, the horizon on, yep. on things it's, that you look at or talk about. Expand that relationship. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Matt, did you have anything? Yeah, my, uh, we do similar like, like industry seminars. There's mm -hmm. some food, there's a food governing body. And yeah. then they send information through like a rep or a website. Okay, or, yeah. Or like a newsletter, weekly, monthly newsletters and things okay. like that. Yeah, okay. And then you can sort of apply to go to these industry seminars or, or um, good ones are like food, like they do like a food industry update and they mm -hmm. have like a big, um, you know, sort of like a marketplace where you can all go and check out different products and you okay. can go and network there and okay. if there's so a product that you want. Yeah. Well, let's, work, let's um, just discuss that one. Like you, go, you, you said you go to like a market mm -hmm. and there's other people there with all their different um, wares, or wares and food and whatever they've got. So how would you, um, what would you do at that event? How would you get contacts there? I usually, you know, well, you target the contacts that you want. So if yep. you want, same as what you said before, if you want to have you know, a supply for olives, you go and find the person that yep. has olives. And if you yep. want a supply for meat, you go and find the meat supply. Yep. So what would you do once you meet them? You'd go over to the stand and say, hi, I'm Matt, or yeah. what? Yeah. Yep. And just chat to them like that and then get their details and then, for, you know, go home and contact them, you know, with well. email or whatever. But, yeah, yep. try and, you yeah, know, like I said, book that second date. Yeah, to have a chat. Yeah. What, um, what about local contacts? What are some local ones you can, but a bit more general, not so much industry based relative to your own industry, but a bit more general. Um, so what about like your business chambers? They're a really good way to network around town, I found that. Tourist there. information? Tourist information, yeah, absolutely, yep. yep. Tourism network. Tourism yeah. network, because you know, when you tap into those resources, they know a lot of people, especially in smaller towns too. So RDA. Um, uh, Riverine has a project what? officer, RDA, Riverine Regional Development Australia. Oh, there you go, RDA, that's a new. Yep. Um, her office is in Griffith and it is Mark Kent. Yep. <laughs> so she, she should, um, helps people find funding. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then directs, you know, directs it to the right community group and then she'll, um, you know, directs foodies to the food group and, yeah. and, you know, helps people find each other. Yeah. Um, oh, just a little bit of insight. So see what we're doing here now. We're all talking about different ways to get different contact. Now, you know, a couple of them I've just become aware of. Um, you know, like your RDA, I haven't heard of that one before. So that's good for me to learn, you know, learn about that. So I can go out and research that one. So it's, sometimes it's just about getting with a group of people, you know, friends or yeah. colleagues or, yeah, and just talking. And you find out a lot of information just by talking. And a lot of networking is also who do you know that does this? Who do you know that does that? So that's where, you know, getting out, getting out and about is really, really important um, in, in, in any business. A lot, of the, a lot of the Facebook groups are kind of the best way to do it. Yeah. Facebook groups? So, yeah. So, I think it's very good at that. Yeah. Yes. There's a Riverina, there's a Riverina Regional Tourism Facebook closed group, and yep. there's an open one as well. Yeah. So the public one would feed like the information into the closed group. We can discuss it as a closed group, and then we contact mm -hmm. whoever wants to contact that person can contact right. that person. It, so yeah. say there's a big event coming up at Dillon Bar on the beach here there. Or, right. And um, and they said, oh, we need a caterer. So then they put it towards this river in a tourism network group. The tourism yeah. network group then yeah. speaks yeah. about it in a closed group, forwards it on to their members, and the members say. I'm interested in that, then they contact. So yeah, it's a bit of a chain yeah. chain reaction. Oh cool, awesome. Yeah, so um, and yeah, the Eileen and Lean one's a great one for that too, you know. Yeah. Does anyone know anyone who does this? So, oh someone will know someone. So that's another great networking um, um, channel as well. Okay, so <clears throat> I do believe you've all got a grasp on what to look for and how to research. You've done some really good research and we've all learned a little bit, I hope, with that one. Um, so, what about two? We've done that. Now, so just in summary, as I said, yep, um, we've all learned how to find applicable networks relevant to our industries. Um, we've all learned how to gain information um, from either those websites or each other on how to um, enhance our own businesses. I do believe. Um, so, just um, in summary, um, there'll be no formal assessment for this 
with this module today as I do believe as part of this the assessment was doing your research and sharing your knowledge um, today um, and we've all applied that um, so I'm hoping you're going to be able to go go back to your workplace and use this knowledge and set aside some time to do some networking it's something I really truly believe in I've learned how to do it quite well in this town and as uh, yeah, you were saying this town's great for networking we are very, very fortunate here it's to... Very much who you know in this town. Exactly. And a lot of country towns are like that. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so did everyone feel comfortable doing those tasks today? Was yeah. that... Yeah, we're all okay with that. I didn't set anything too high. Um, and what... Just going to quickly... How much time have I got? I'm not sure. Um, You're doing really well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just quickly, one thing. I'll just ask you to do. What's one thing that you'll take away today that you're going to implement into your own life? Sam? Oh goodness! <laughs> On the spot. Um. Well, I already do quite a lot of volunteering, oh, yeah. and a lot of networking within the different yeah. roles and jobs that I do. It's probably trying to ask more open-ended questions Perfect. than closed questions to be able to gain more information from them. Listening, yeah, you're listening. Yeah. Perfect. Great. What do you think? What are you going to take away? Um, I've done quite a bit of this recently, and I know that networking is something that I need to work on, and yep. it just compounds that. So. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, probably working on my thirty second commercial. Commercial. Yeah. 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 I'm worried that you know, I don't have that much time to do it. So mm -hmm. yeah, summarise it, and okay. whatever comes naturally. It doesn't have to be a you know. A, a written out skill that you're going to, you know, you know, robot type thing that you're going to say, but it's going to change every time you say it. But as long as you've got the basics in your head and you want short and sweet, you and want to promote questions, you don't want to yes. answer the questions. No, that's right. Don't assume that they know. Yeah, yeah. that's a great idea. Don't tell them everything. Yeah, good idea. Good point. And Matt, what are you going to take home today? Um, I'm going to sign up to Tinder or Grinder. You found a new networking um, avenue, haven't you? I need to go and do it for the LGBT. Ah, right. LGBT. Yeah. Don't get the cue. Awesome. Okay, so that's um, we'll, we'll wrap it all up there um, for this module. Um, you will receive a statement of attainment for completion and understanding of this module. You've done really, really well. Well done, everybody. And this, as I said, this is a part of our business training course, which is offered by WRCC. Um, so if you'd like to continue this line of training to enhance your business skills, you're welcome to enrol in the full course, which is the CERT for Business Leadership and Management. Mm -hmm.